Hello learners. Do you like listening to a story? Today we'll read a story for you. It's a CBSC textbook story Bambi. It's written by Felix Salton. Welcome to Soralia's Art and Craft. It's a channel where you can learn so many things with fun. So let's start the story written by Felix Salton. It's Bambi. Bambi was a roe deer. He was no longer a little fawn nor he was a stag yet. He had to gain a lot of wisdom before he could become the prince of the deer like the old stag. Bambi had been playing with Falain for a long time before he fall asleep for a while. While he was sleeping, he heard a voice. Suddenly he woke up. He thought he heard Falain calling him. Bambi looked around. He remembered seeing Falain as he lay down, standing nearby and nibbling leaves. Where was she now? Then she called again with a sideways spring. Bambi turned into the direction of the sound came from. Then he heard it again. The call came again clearly, thin as birds twittering and tender. Come, come, it said. Yes, that was her voice. That was Falain. Bambi started to run. While he was rushing away, he saw the old stag. The royal stag was stunning ahead, barring his path. Bambi had no time for the noble stag just now. He had thoughts for flying alone. He greeted the stag hastily and tried to hurry by. Where are you going? asked the old stag. To Falain, said Bambi. Do not go, said the old stag. She is calling me, he said in response. No, she is not calling, said the stag. The call came again, as thin as birds twittering. Come. Listen, Bambi cried excitedly. There it is again. I heard it, said the old stag, nodding. Bambi felt the ground burning under his feet. But, he said, I know her voice. I will come right back. No, said the old stag, sadly. You will never come back, never again. The call came again. I must go, cried Bambi. Then the old stag declared in a commanding voice, We will go together. Quickly, cried Bambi and bounded off. No, slowly, commanded the old stag in a voice that forced Bambi to obey. Stay behind me, move one step at a time. The old stag began to move forward. Bambi followed, breathing heavily with impatience. Listen, said the old stag without stopping. No matter how often the call comes, do not stay 
from my side. Bambi did not dare to oppose. The old stag advanced slowly with Bambi followed him. How cleverly the old stag moved. Not a sound came from under his hooves. Not a leaf was disturbed. Not a twig snapped. Yet they were gliding through thick bushes. Bambi was amazed and had to admire him. In spite of his impatience, he had never dreamed that anybody could move like that. Several times the old stag stopped, although no call had came, and lifted his head, listening. Bumby heard nothing. The old stag turned away from the direction of the call and took a diversion. Bambi raged inwardly. The call came again and again. At last they drew nearer to it, then still nearer. The old stag whispered. No matter what is she, do not move. Do you hear? Watch everything I do and act as I do carefully. And do not lose your head. They went a few steps further and subsequently that sharp scent that Bumby knew so well stuck them full in face. He swallowed so much of it that he nearly cried out. He stood as tough rooted to the ground for a moment. His heart seemed to be pounding in his throat. The old stag stood calmly beside him and mentioned with his eyes it was man. Man was standing quite close to them, leaning against the trunk of an oak hidden by a few leaves of the hazel bushes. He was calling softly, come, come. Bambi was completely puzzled and terrified. He began to understand that it was man who was calling, come, come. He wanted to flee, be still, whispered the old stag. Bambi controlled himself. Let us go back said the old stag and turned about. They glided away cautiously. The old stag moved with a zigzag course, the purpose of which Pompey did not understand. He wanted to run, but the stag walked slowly, stopping and listening. He would begin a new zigzag course and stop again, going very slowly ahead. They were far from the danger spot. If he stops again, thought Bambi, I will thank him. But suddenly, the old stag were nowhere to be seen. Do you like the story? Hope you do. Let us learn about some words. It's rodeo. Rodeo means a small deer. Stag. Stag is an adult male deer. For lion, 
in the story for lion name of a female deer bearing his path that means blocking the way do you know the meaning of hastily it's quickly so what's the meaning of commanding it means powerful and difficult not to obey so let us know about bounded bounded means leaped forward advanced moved forward what is a twig twig is a small branch have you heard about gliding gliding means moving smoothly and without any effort diversion an indirect path not direct indirect raged means got extremely angry puzzled what is puzzled puzzled means confused if you want to know about some question answers click on the link at the description box it's there for you so have a nice reading thank you